Mattis just revealed what keeps him up at night, silences reporter with his unexpected answer. If a Trump presidency wasn't enough to make America's enemies collectively crap their pants, adding retired General Mad Dog Mattis to his administration as Secretary of Defense surely was. War stories about the Marine General's time in the Corps continue to go viral across the Internet, as his no-nonsense approach for dealing with our enemies has made him infamous all across the world. So when Mattis appeared on CBS Face the Nation this week and was asked what keeps him awake at night, predictably, Mattis would have the most epic response imaginable, instantly sending America's enemies running to their safe spaces. You can be sure that when you ask Mad Dog Mattis an honest question, you'll get brutal honesty right back in your face, as this weathered badass gives zero craps about the feelings of the week. He went on CBS recently to discuss current threats facing the United States, when the interviewer asked Mattis what keeps him up at night. Not missing a beat, the retired Marine General looked straight back at host John Dickerson and bluntly stated, Nothing. I keep other people awake at night. No doubt Mattis has been keeping quite a few Muslim terrorists up at night, as he's recently been obliterating their forces with such a fury lately, that he had to make a special request to President Trump for more arsenal, as our military has literally has run out of bombs. Last week he requested an astounding $3.5 billion in special weaponry to kill more terrorists with, as he plans to keep his promise to America to completely annihilate ISIS while Trump is in office. From the Daily Caller, Secretary of Defense James Mattis personally requested more bombs for combat operations against the Islamic State, a top Department of Defense official revealed Tuesday. Mattis intervened in the fiscal year 2018 budget and put in a request for $3.5 billion in preferred munitions to replenish weapons stockpiles for the fight against ISIS. The petition pushes procurement for six different weapons to the maximum, acting under Secretary of Defense and Chief Financial Officer John Roth explained, according to Defense News. The six weapons systems include Hellfire missiles, Joint Direct Attack Munitions, JDAMs, Guided Multiple Launch Rocket Systems, GMLRS, Small Diameter Bombs, SDBs, Tomahawk Missiles, and Advanced Precision Kill Weapon Systems, UPCUs. The Pentagon is requesting missiles for drone strikes, bunker busters, guided rockets, cruise missiles, and other related weaponry for combat against militants in particular. As we closed out this budget, over the last two or three weeks in particular, a great deal of concern was being raised with current inventory levels particularly given some of the expenditures in the U.S. Central Command area of operations, Roth told reporters when the Pentagon rolled out its budget, so, the secretary mandated and insisted we fully fund, to the maximum extent possible, the full production capacities for certain selected preferred munitions. Mattis' recent words will no doubt be added to his long list of famous quotes that always manage to find their way on memes and shirts across the Internet. Here's a few of Mad Dog's other epic statements that have always managed to royally piss off any liberal who comes across them. When you men get home and face an anti-war protester, look at him in the eyes and shake his hand. Then, wink at his girlfriend because she knows she's dating a pussy, Mattis once said. That's the kind of man's man that Mattis is. He doesn't mince words and he doesn't screw around. Who can forget this one? I come in peace. I didn't bring artillery. But I'm pleading with you, with tears in my eyes. If you f with me, I'll kill you all, Mattis told Iraqi leaders during the 2003 invasion. Be polite, be professional, but have a plan to kill everybody you meet. We definitely have a dream team when it comes to the Trump administration. What an incredible change this administration is to the Obama administration where we had a president who constantly kissed the asses of Muslim terrorists across the globe and was the driving force behind ISIS rising to power. Thank God we finally have a badass in the form of Mad Dog Mattis who will be relentless in his mission to obliterate every last remaining one of Obama's little ISIS buddies from the face of planet Earth. Share this story if you love Mad Dog Mattis. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.